organized to help raise funds to uh, help prevent breast cancer, fight breast cancer. Uh, my name is Wonderful Skiff. And my name is Ice Cube Cools. And uh, I think we're going to be getting into the match already right here with uh, Dranza versus Bear, Lu Bear Loris, I think it is. So we're going to jump right into the match, I guess. Because <laughs> yeah. they're both ready to go. Oh, yeah. No, we did have a little bit of technical uh, technical difficulties. We apologize for that, but we're going to be getting right into this. It looks like we'll be starting on Battlefield. Game one between Dranzer, Bear Loris, like you mentioned. Captain Falcon versus Marv. This should be a very interesting matchup. Uh, Captain Falcon has received quite a few buffs recently. And uh, Marv kind of got some buffs, but still kind of seems to struggle a little bit here. So I'm really interested to see how Dranzer is going to make this work. Yeah, definitely. Because with Marth, uh, you know, I mean, they Marth got a little bit of buffs with his tippers on his uh, fair and his bear. But, uh, you know, I mean, hopefully that's going to be enough. I mean, he might be able to outrange the Falcon. But remember, Falcon's a very, very fast character to, to like, get in on uh, on Marth. So I think that's going to be where this matchup's going to uh, definitely like come into play here. Oh, no, for sure. Like, Marth definitely uh, kind of benefits from the whole disjoints, you know, having from, like, just about every move. Um, just like every other sword character, they really benefit from disjoints. But Captain Falcon, like you mentioned, has a lot of speed. And while... Oh, going to start off with a... Hot, really oh, heavy. starting off hot. Let's go. <laughs> a nice little Raptor boost spike. Uh, just trying to recover from the stage. And uh, I'm not sure if they just called out the option from Dranzer. But either way, going to take that stock very cleanly. So great stuff so far. But as I was mentioning before... Uh, Marth, like other sorties, they benefit from having so many disjoints, but Marth kind of has to have those tippers to really be effective, and it's kind of inconsistent even after some of those buffs that kind of fixed them a little bit, so it's going to be interesting to see how Dranzer's going to be able to keep that spacing and getting those tippers going correctly, uh, but again, Captain Falcon's so fast that he can just find a ways in. He can't be spaced out quite as effectively. Yeah, right uh, Yeah, right now, Bear, Lo Bear Loris is actually finding, like, not like giving up at all right now we're seeing at 182 percent while he took that stock from dranzer with that very very good side b going back to the ledge so and uh, there okay there it is okay so he had to do something there i think even like a non-tipper was, was going to kill there anyways so now sure. this game's sitting kind of even because uh barrel wars couldn't really get that much damage in while uh after he got that first stock so now you know it's good good comeback from uh dranzer they're coming in but i guess yeah. we'll see what will happen here yeah so the biggest problem here is I'm not trying to say play Lucina if you're playing Marth, right? But <laughs> the, the problem here is we saw we didn't see Bear Loris lose a stock until about 200%. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that Marth wasn't able to land those tippers, which could have got that stock a lot earlier. And unfortunately, not going to space out that Raptor boost properly and going to be able to lose a stock on top of that. Uh, um, they've recovered to stage like that three times now. Yeah, definitely. You know, whenever you do the same option, going back to stage, of course, you, uh, a lot of good players will read like and adapt what how you will recover back to stage. Like, you know, I was just playing with my roommate yesterday and he keeps he keeps recovering high and I keep punishing him. So, like, you know, you can't do the same thing over and over or else they will read it. But it looks like, oh, got an unfortunate air dodge going down, sadly. So that was that was not the best move there. But uh, both of them sitting on one stock. Durant has a little bit of advantage sitting at zero percent while Bear is at 71 and he so he could he might be able to take this, but Bear Lords will have to definitely come back from this somehow. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. Bear Lords really has to stop doing those Raptor boosts to the stage. It's uh, only a matter of time till Dranzer finds a big punish. And even after a really unfortunate beginning, uh, Dranzer's really taking the lead here, kind of dictating the tempo, getting back to the stage. It looks like they're starting to get that motor going. Uh, Bear Loris, I don't know what's going on. I think I think they're just uh, too panicky, trying to recover back to stage and just not finding a lot of the correct options. Oh, good Falcon good, kick! Very Maybe good put Falcon kick. Off stage. Yeah, the good the good part about Falcon though is that he doesn't need tippers to do anything. He has like very very fat hits, but it doesn't matter because with Dranzer with the fair off stage, not letting him recover. <laughs> Oh my god, he's like, the one time he didn't do Raptor Boost back, he was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna get him this time, nah, get him out of here. <laughs> no, super good stuff from Dranger, finding a way to take that game one after a pretty rough start, uh, not being able to take a stock till 200% on Bear Loris, and also suffering a really unfortunate spike, uh, losing a very, very early stock. Yeah, I think he heard you, he was like, tell me to play Lucina again, watch what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> But here we go. We're going to be going into game number two, it looks like. I just uh, try not to bring it up because, like, I know there's there's a lot of dedicated Marth mains, and mm -hmm. they like playing Marth, and I get it. And I'm sure they all hear it all the time. Dude, just play Lucina. It's just so much better. And she is, but sometimes Marth mains just, they like the tippers. They like uh, the, 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 you know, the type of gameplay that Marth can provide. But it's just like, 
that's that inconsistency that Marth has sometimes and the struggle to get kills if you're not landing those tippers. It's just a really, really big problem. Yep. And, you know, sometimes, like, literally the one person over here in Louisiana that I hear that uh, that plays Marth, his reasoning is because he likes the character over Lucina. <laughs> like, he likes the actual, like, you know, the lore behind Marth and everything. And, you know, sometimes mm. it just comes down to that. Sometimes it just comes down to that. You know, you just like the character. You know? Hey, it's if you the like best. the character enough, then... uh You'll you'll go as far as uh, the work you put in. Like me, like I, I play in Cinderwar. I'm not expecting the, uh, to win half the time, but I have a good time playing it. But we are currently waiting to see what our game two is going to be. Uh, the players are in the arena waiting for the battle to start. They might be talking in the uh, in their chat. Maybe who knows? Say wow, good GGs, man. Because we all know how Smash GGs chats goes, right? You know they're always very nice. They're all wholesome. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, always. Yeah, there's there's never always. a problem with never a smash problem. with a smash GG chat ever. ever. Uh, I've never been to Twitter to determine whether or not that's true or not. <laughs> very true, guys. You know, GG's, bro, man. I think you played that very well. I can't wait to see how far you go in this tournament. Thanks, man. I really appreciate that. They see that sounds like a yes chat. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. That that sounds like every chat I've ever seen yes in. That dude is like the <laughs> nicest dude in this game. And the thing is, he's like, it's crazy because he's so nice. And then he styles on people every once in a while. And just, you know, does a couple, like, you know, like the, the disrespectful stuff or whatever. But it's all in good fun. He's just a dude who likes the game. It's always fun watching him play. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it looks like we looks, we might be seeing a stage switch. So they started on Battlefield the first round, I believe, right? I'm sorry? They started on uh, Battlefield the first. Right? They did start on Battlefield first. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, oh, we do want to give a quick shout out here to LBG Kappa uh, for a $25 donation saying, coming from Hero Stream as a charity streamer, I know how any little bit can help. Thank you so much. That $25 is going to go a long way. And again, if you know anybody who's willing to help, can help spread the word. And uh, yeah, if you can give any bit, a penny to $100, whatever, anything in between. Uh, any bit of money, uh, any bit of amount of money is gonna go a long way when we put it all together. But we're gonna be getting into this game too. Yoshi's story. Um, yes, this should be a pretty solid stage for Captain Falcon. He's got a lot of explosive kill options. Can use those platforms to get some combo extensions as well. And if he can find a way to catch Marth off stage, slacking a little bit, a uh, Falcon dive can actually really ex uh, blow a stock up at like sixty percent. Yeah, and not only that, he also has those walls on the side, so he can recover a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike Battlefield, so it could be, you know, with the wall jumps, he could actually, you know, recover. So we'll see. Uh, instead of just depending on Raptor boots and up B, he Ooh. can now wall jump. So, yeah, yeah uh, right. That was actually a really good parry on that first, uh, first neutral hit uh, jab, I guess, from uh, Marth. But unfortunately, wasn't gonna be able to get another one out of there. But yeah, the problem here is like he's been going for these options where when he's on stage and Marth is recovering uh, low, which you know Marth is normally gonna recover low anyway. Uh, he's mm -hmm. been trying to go for these up tilt uh, spikes, and that's one. You're in Yoshi, so you got that weird slant, so like things aren't going to connect properly. And two, Mart's Dolphin Slash is probably just going to connect through the stage, if anything. So I, I you got to find a different way if you want to get an effective edge guard. Yeah, and you know sometimes you don't even have to edge guard. You can just sit on stage, keep that stage control, and then just keep him off stage, and that's that might be his better his better chance. See, he's sticking by the ledge right there, you know. He actually got hit. So that's Ooh. why. The, oh, okay. Look. All right. Never mind, Bear. My, my bad. You good. You good, bro. My bad. My bad. You do what you do, you, bro. <laughs> I mean, no, that, that was a good way to take that stock. Got the Raptor boost into the dive, being able to blow up that stock. He's about like, what, 120 or something like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Just about. Like, he, uh, he was up there. <laughs> I know that much. Yeah. Ooh, great tilt. Our tipper. Uh, Going to be able to send him off stage. Not quite going to take the stock, though. Bear Lore is trying to get some additional extra credit here. Got 50% so far. Let's see how far he can stretch this uh, first stock out. And so far, it's doing pretty well. 150 on Yoshi's is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, we're seeing a repeat of that last game right now, except Bear is actually getting some good damage while keeping his first stock right now. Mm -hmm. He continues to find ways to trade with the Marth, but the Marth is going to oh, run up, up air. <laughs> Just, <you run. laughs> up air in neutral to take a stock? What the hell? But <laughs> all right. Hey, we're out here. 
any move can be good if it's unexpected. You know, I, I, I bet no one expected that. At 100%, it's because he got the tipper, though. If he didn't get the tipper, that definitely would not have killed Bear Loris. But you know what? Hey, you take him when you can get him. That's an interesting option just to run up to the ledge and up smash. So Bear Loris, I think, has got like a decent amount of the character down, but goes for these strange options when Martha's off ledge. And I don't know if they're just trying to, like, I don't know. It, I wouldn't even call them effective callouts because, like, Marth doesn't do anything that goes high. I, I don't know. Like, Bear Lars is doing some weird stuff. And, and, like, the first thing is to cost him yep. the game one. And now it might potentially cost him game two if he doesn't figure out a way to just to turn this around. Yeah, definitely. It looks like, it, oh, he held down there going up there. Okay, let's see. There we go. But uh, he's going to have to really take the stock right now if he wants to take this game. Because right now, it looks like Dranzor's getting the download on him. Just hitting all these tippers and spacing his attacks very, very well. So he's going to have to do something here, man. Dranzer, uh, with, with Barrelors is coming back on stage, Dranzer had a really nice setup, uh, I think, with the up tilt or the up air, and then tried to go for a back air instead. Oh, great up smash with call the up smash. on the roll in. Yeah, that was fantastic stuff. Barrelors, now within the game, 61% is not that much between these two characters. Captain Falcon, again, able to put down a lot of effective damage, a lot of crazy damage very quickly. And then, again, having all these kill options that we've seen. We saw a Raptor boost to a dive earlier. We got to see if Bear Lois can find another way to either get something like that going or just a way to just really get an edge guard. He's not been able to edge guard at all effectively. Yeah, it's true. But then there we go. The forward smash will take the stock, and he will take the set. So Dranzer will be moving on to winner's round two. Yep. But GG's to both players, honestly. No, good games. It's unfortunate because Bear Loris had a had a good start both games. Was able to take the first stock both games, and then it was kind of a back and forth. But just Jay Ranzer, Dranzer, I uh, was just able to really take the game at the end when it mattered most. They landed their hits, and that's all that really matters when you come when you come into this game. It doesn't matter how you start; it matters how you finish. And Dranzer gonna take that too well. Uh, definitely showing that they were the better player for today. Yeah, you know, you know, even with Marth over Lucina, of course, like it's a high risk thing. Like, you know, I mean, if you if you can hit those tippers, I mean, yeah, play play Marth over Lucina, honestly. And you know, I think Dranza really just proved that. You know, getting all those tippers that in that games, like, because <laughs> it does mad damage, man. It does so much damage, so much knockback. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're able to, you. if you're able to effectively like play Marth's game, but you're able to like effectively space and get those tippers when you need them. Uh, and not even just that, but the tippers can set up for some wild combo games from Marth as well. If you're mm -hmm. able to do that, Marth is absolutely insane. But the problem is the consistency in those tippers. And I think they did try to address it in a couple of his, a couple of Marth's moves, like the forward air. Um, I think the back air as well, down air. There was a couple things that he got. He got some buffs recently. So mm -hmm. being able to do that effectively is great. But like, you got you to gotta find a way to keep it going. Yep, yep, and you are right there. But it looks like we got Sam coming in here. Who will be next on on this? Well, we Fun. will find out soon. But we've got a lot of games going today. We do have quite a few DQs, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, people will be able to... Uh...